Hey, guitar players, today I'm going to talk about how you can create professional looking guitar tabs. A question I've been asked a lot over the years by other guitar teachers as well as students is how I create the tabs that I pass out at my workshops and also use in my online videos on screen. For a long time, I've been using this software called Table Edit or Tablature Editor. Um, you can check it out at tableedit.com. But for me, this is the perfect tool to create the tabs that I want to create, and I can do it pretty quickly and efficiently. Um, and I'll show you a bunch of the features of it and how I use it and tell you a little bit about some of the other things that I don't use as well. And I'll even create a tab kind of from scratch so you can see how it works. Now you can download a free version of it, a free demo version that I believe is fully featured except for you can only save 16 measures. So you can test it out and see if it's something that will work for your purposes, but let's dive in. So here it is on my computer. This is a tune that I've been working on for a uh, workshop that I'm about to teach. And uh, so it's pretty much finished. And basically I can, I can zoom out or I can zoom in depending on if I want to get up close and work on, you know, one measure at a time or something. I can edit these notes. I can delete notes or change notes. Um, I can play this so I can go here and hit this green play button and listen to what it sounds like. And I use this to test it, you know, to see if there's any clunkers, any bad notes <laughs> that I put in there. So that's very useful. And then I can go and uh, now there are a lot of options. There's a lot of different things that this software can do. So, for instance, if I go to this preferences here, I can actually add notation. So... Now it'll have musical notation and guitar tablature. Personally, I don't like having notation and guitar tablature um, on the same score. Like I would prefer to have either just tab or just music. And I find most of my students prefer just tab. So I just do tab. Uh, but I just want to show you that you can also add that musical notation. There's a lot of options for printing it. So this is the print preview. I've put in a title for the song um, and stuff. And you can see this is how it would actually print out. And I can click this little box here with the arrow that will create a PDF of exactly what we're seeing here. Now, I would, I would probably make some adjustments, maybe so there's four lines on a page and stuff. You can adjust all of those things um, in terms of how it visually looks or how many, you know, measures are per line, all that stuff. So basically that's, you know, what it looks like and how it functions. I'll show you how to create a tab from scratch. I'll just go and create a new tab. So I'm going to go up here and pick file new. This is going to be guitar and standard tuning two measures. I was going to keep it nice and, and short for this demo. Uh, we're in the key of G. That won't really matter because I'm doing tab, but if you were doing notation, you would want to make sure you got the right key and then four, four time as well. So let's hit okay. And it gives me my two measures, my epic opus uh, tab here. <laughs> and I'm going to go up and hit view palette and I'm going to use this palette to indicate what type of note I'm going to enter. So let's say I'll start off with some quarter notes. I'm just going to lay down a bass pattern, a thumb pattern. Um, so we're going to do a third, that's third fret six string. I just press three on my keyboard and then I'm going to press the zero for open fourth string. And I'm going to click here, do another three for third fret. Another open, so that's a G chord. Now I'm going to change to a C chord for the second measure. Still all quarter notes. So then I would probably test those bass notes, come back here and hit play. Make sure it sounds like how I think it sounds, <laughs> it's supposed to sound. <laughs> All right, that's good. Now I'm going to add some upper notes, some finger picking notes. So let's see, I'm going to do some eighth notes. And we'll go here, type three for third fret. And then I'm going to put another note here. Whoops. Okay, that wasn't spaced quite right. 
There we go. That's an eighth note. And we'll do that again here. And then that one will just be a pinch. Actually, that's going to be a quarter note. So I'll change that to a quarter note. And then for the C chord, we're going to need some different upper notes. So we'll hit the open. This is going to be an eighth note. Open E to the first fret, second string. And I'll repeat that. All right, so this should be a cool little finger picking thing. Oop, this is going to be a quarter note. Cool. This should be a cool little finger picking thing. Let's take a listen to it. All right, nothing ingenious, but you see how it works. Now then I can also go and go to where it says score, and that's where I could add a title information to it. So let's call this one the cool tune in G. And then I can go and I can go to my print preview and I can take a look at what it's going to look like when I print it out. Now it's not much, <laughs> it's not much cause it's only two measures there, but that's the whole page, you know, and I could kind of adjust it and stuff. And I kind of do that on a per song basis because um, it, it sort of varies from song to song, how many measures you have and how you want to fit it on the pages and whatnot. But that's basically how it works. That is once again, like I said, the table edit software that I think is just fantastic. Um, I think as of right now, it's, uh, costs like 60 bucks, I think to buy it, which I think is a great deal. It's not a subscription. It's just a one-time, uh, cost. And I, I think they do a great job with, uh, you know, keeping the software current and uh, making sure it works well. So check it out. You can download the free uh, demo if you want to check it out. They also have a thing called Tef Viewer, which allows you just to listen to uh, play the files, which can be kind of cool too, because you can slow things down and stuff. Um, that's another nice feature of um, the software. Plus, there's a community of players who have put up free tabs in this format, too, that you can download. Uh, most of mine are not out there free. You have to sign up for one of my workshops. But I do have one of them uh, called the 51st Street Rag that's up there on the Table Edit uh, site. So check it out. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you found this useful. Be sure to uh, leave me a comment. Be sure to subscribe if you want to get more content like this. I do appreciate it. I'll see you next time.